friends, you are welcome to my channel today with me. My name is Queen, and on today's tutorial, I will be teaching how to take a skirt measurement, a perfect skirt measurement. Three different types of waist you need to measure for the skirt, and how to place your tape to get accurate measurement. So stay with me as I continue. The first step to take is the length. I like starting from length whenever I want to take measurement. Now we have three different types of waist. So when we talk about three types of waist, this is the high waist. We are the person who place skirts on a high waist like this. So whenever you want to take measurement, make sure you ask your client, where do you normally keep your skirts? Where do you want to keep your skirts, this skirt? So if it's a high waist, your, your tape will start from here to take the length. This is the high waist. Then if it's a novel, some people place their skirt on their novel, on top of their novel. Then this is the novel length. You place your tape on the novel length to take the skirt length. Then if it's a low waist, some people place their skirt on the low waist. So this is the low waist length. You bring your tape also to that place, that low waist, before you take your skirt measurement. Now, this measurement is all about skirt, how to take skirt measurement. Let me show you something. If you're doing a stress skirt that has slits, whether six pieces that has slits, how to take a perfect slit measurement so that you will not have a funny story. So, here you place your tape. It can be a high waist, it can be a novel, uh, waist, it can be a low waist. So let me use the high waist. For instance, the person says, I want a slit by the lats like this. So that's the same time that you're taking the measurement. Make sure you measure. Where do you want your slit to stop? It's very, very important so that you will not have issues. Some customers can be very funny. So ask, where do you want your slit to stop? Is it here? So you quickly measure. If it's 20, some people can say, I want it to come up. You place your tape from the waist point and you measure where the slit will stop. Some people say, I want it to be at the knee. You place your tape also, you take it. Some people say, I want it to be low, knee. You place your tape and you measure where the slit opening will start from. So it's to start from 20 down. If it's to start from 22 down, if it's to start from 19 down, just measure and write it down. So when you're making the skirt now, you know where you're to start your slit. As you place your tape, let's assume it's this high waist length you're taking. So you take your length from this place. You go to hip length, what we call hip length. You can see that from this high waist to the hip length is 12 inches. That is why it's good to measure hip length. It's very, very important. Don't just assume that a hip length is a nine inches we used to know or eight inches. You measure in case it's high waist. That is why you have to measure. You get your hip length. This person, this mannequin is 12. Then you go, there is something we call knee length. But on this aspect, knee length, if this is your knee, this is your knee, you come up by two inches. Like this one now is 22 from that high waist and placing the tape is 22 inches. This is the knee length. You don't take on the knee so that the person can walk freely. You know when the person is walking, you need a free distance. So you don't take it on the knee, you bring it up by two inches to take the knee length. So if, that is if you're taking a skirt length that is long. If you're taking a long skirt length, like six pieces, so the half length, the knee length should come up by two inches. Then we'll have what we call three quarter, below knee rather, below knee. Then we'll have three quarter and we'll have full length. This is how you place your tape. The way this uh, masking tape is, the way I place this masking tape, this is how you place your skirt to get all the length. And you go to the full length, 
you go to the floor, ask the person, where do you want your skirt to stop, to flow? Will you use a high heel? There are some persons that will say, I want the back to flow. Then you can go her head and ask, okay, do you want it to flow up to this length? You place it at the back, you bring your tape to the back, ask, how do you want the tape, the, your back, uh, this thing to, to flow? Then you measure. That is how you measure your length. If it's from this angle, you also place your tape like that. You see, from this point now, I'm getting the nine inches, that is the hip length. But if you place it from here, what you get as hip length is seven and a half. From the low waist, it's seven and a half. So that is why it's very, very important for you to measure from the person's body. Don't just calculate. Everybody are not the same. All the measurements are not the same. Then you get, if the skirt is to stop here, you take the length. If the skirt is to top, stop below the knee or on the knee, you take. That is for stress skirt. You can stop on the knee. Depends the person's choice. You can stop below the knee. You can stop three quarter. You can also go for full length. But when you are going for stress skirt for full length, you don't allow the length to go too low. For for instance, if you are using for this person now, for this manicure now, you can stop your stress skirt here or here. This is 39 or 38. Don't allow it to be flow. But for six pieces, for a cord, for fish tail, you can flow it. Flow it according to the person's choice. So, the next place to take now is the waist. Wherever you start your skirt length from, where the person is placing the skirt, is where you are to take skirt waist. When you are to take skirt waist, make sure you make it tight. So when you are to take your skirt waist, make it firm. Make it tight for this person. You press it and you take your skirt waist. If it's this point now, which is the novel length, make sure you place your tape exact that place where you took the skirt length from and take this waist. Make it firm. For instance, let me use my body. If I'm taking my high waist now, like this, if I want to wear my high waist skirt, like this, I'll make sure I press it in. What I'm having here is 35 and a half. 35 and a half is my high waist skirt. 35 and a half. But if I bring it here to my novel, to my novel, you see the way I'm pressing it? I will have like 37 here, or if I press it more, I will have like 36 and half, 36 and half. So you make sure you place according to where you started the measurement from the length. Then when it comes to hip measurements, you place your tape across like the round measurement for the hip. You take the biggest part of the hip, where the butt, where you have the full butt, is where you take your hip circumference, like this. And how to know a perfect hip measurement? You first of all press it tight. When you press it tight, you see the number you're having. Like here, if I press it, I have 39 inches. Then I will free it by one inch. So that one inch is to help the tape to move round. Then you have a perfect hip circumference. Like if I'm taking it on my like this. If I'm taking it on my body, this is the biggest part of my. I will press it like this, which is 45 here. Yeah? Then I will free it by one inch. 46. That 46 is to help me move my tape round like this. Then you have a perfect hip circumference. So I'm done with taking skirt measurements now. Thank you so very much for watching. Please like and share my video. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. I am sure you will not regret it. For my subscribers, I thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. I really, really appreciate it. God bless you.
see you in my next video.